end goal that we look for here is to chop the car and make it look like it came that way from the factory. So, and in order to do a good metal finish job, we got to remove some things like the inner door posts here and the outer skin here. We've got things we got to repair, like this is a factory seam right here. See that? That's gnarly. I just leaded it up. And then this is a factory seam on the A-pillar right here. Hopefully, hopefully we can do a little bit better job. Another thing on the 32-3 windows that really bothers me when they're chopped is the back of the roof right here, the window is kind of straight up and down versus the 34, which leans forward. And so when you got the posts in the front that lean back and this that's leaning forward a little bit, when you chop it without modifying this, it gives the illusion that sometimes it's backwards. When you chop a car, the more you chop it, the more the lines that don't work surface. So when this thing comes down, it has to get a little bit, since, since this is narrower here and it has to get wider here, well then that, either it has to get longer here in the middle or you lean the post back. We're leaning our post back. Okay, so here we're fortunate enough to have a three window in the shop. It's a Brookville Roaster body. Now the way Brookville makes their body is they make the entire body side a slab. They have a seam here. You see that overlap seam there? And there's one at the top of the cowl right here. And there's one right here. And whenever these things would come in, you'd build it on the fixture, you put the sides on, then it had the rear window head, rear window opening came in a section. This section of roof came as one piece. It's welded here. There was a seam here. Same in the front. So what we, what we do, whether it be a Brookville or this original one, we'll cut it right here on this seam, come around like this, like that, and we'll take this corner of the roof off completely out of the way, okay? So now, this panel here is loose. So then, we'll determine how much we're gonna chop the rear window, and we'll chop that, we'll tack weld it together, and then, because this is loose, there's enough flex in this rear panel right here where we can form it over and get the rear window to tip forward. We're probably only gonna tip it up from, from here to here. It's gonna be a half inch and it'll, it'll probably fall that much. We've got it laid out. This seam right here is a factory seam. People say, man, isn't that a lot more work taking that corner out? Well, not really, because we'll take this corner out. When we chop it, you know, you've seen where they'll, they'll do their cut here, okay? And that is however long this is. And then sometimes they'll put cuts in it that are, say, six inches long like this, okay? So if you think about it, you got this cut right here, all right? And so it's, that is that long right there, so that's about that much. And then you got, no, say three, five to six inch long cuts. So there's 15 inches right there. That's how, that's, that's, that's how long this is. So actually, we're not adding that much more welding to the project. I mean, this on the factory car is already welded, but we're gonna unweld, we're gonna cut it and then re-weld it. But if we're doing a Brookville car, we're going to have to weld this seam anyway, okay? So, that you can't even figure that one in the equation if you're doing a Brookville car because you got to weld it anyway. So now you've got one here and one here, which is the same as a cut here and a bunch of little cuts here. Also, the other thing that it helps us do is when we're chopping this area of roof right here, however much it's going to be, because like I said, we're going to have our doors back. We'll mount the doors back on here. There'll be blocks sitting right here on top of this, 3 16 blocks, and we're going to bring the roof down to the door, whatever that is. We don't even know, it doesn't even matter what that is, because we, like we said in the first video, we're going by that door profile. Once this is leaned forward a little bit, and all this is down, and everything's back, and it's tack welded together back here, 
and, and this seam here is finished and this is real easy to finish because we're only dealing with this little bitty area then you take this piece and you slide it up in here and it will actually you can slide it up in there and position it where it's perfect and then you just put one scribe line on it and trim it all the way around it and put it in and it, it absolutely works tits this really really works good on 34 or 5 windows especially this technique on 35 and 36 3 windows and, and 5 windows you cut this big corner especially on a 3 window 36 you cut that big corner out chop the top you get all this lined up the rear window lined up and everything's perfect and the doors are open and closing then you just slide that thing up in there and it it fits absolutely perfect and scribe it and put it in and then when you get through with your metal finishing it looks like this uh, one thing you got to remember is when you lean the windshield post back especially the farther you go back you can't just lean the post you got to think of the windshield area as a it's a, got a flat glass in it so it's on a flat plane so if this goes back and these go back then that means that this area right here has to in turn go back so everything stays flat. You've seen some of the cars from the olden days, you'll see a picture and there'll be a gap on the windshield right here when they're chopped a lot. That's because it's hitting right here in the middle because this didn't get rolled back. So what we're gonna do is when we cut this, when we cut these A-pillar pads out on both sides, that's gonna free up this right here. <laughs> Okay, so now we've got our, our um, A-pillar cover, and when we chop it, obviously we're going to take it out of this section here, get into good material, we'll cut all this old stuff off here, and get into good material, and then we'll be able to blend the two together. But that opens that all this, all this up, because this post is going to have to lean back down here starting right here this is where the post will actually lean back right here because we're breaking it from the body bead or the brake line in the body here this right here we'll trim some off the back right here just this little bit and that'll give us enough angle you know it'll slide down it'll slide down that little bit but you can't you won't notice it so that gives our angle on our lean back. So that takes care of getting that out of the front. We've got our doors on, finally. Both sides work good, open and close. Mission accomplished. Okay, so now we gotta bring this top down. Um, we're going to um, remove these back sections of the roof. And then we're also gonna remove this upper wood in the body and I'm just going to cut the wood because we're going to remiter it and redowl it when we shorten the main post so I'm just going to there's a factory right through the factory seam I'm just going to cut it with a sawzall then I've got a couple screws just holding it in temporary so then we'll take all that out and then that'll allow us to get to these factory places here so we can fix them Then we have to uh, then we're going to drill all these spot welds so we can get this uh, sheet metal loose from this um, 
inner, inner frame. Earlier I measured from, from approximately here up on both sides and they're both exactly um, two and a half. So we know we're at two and a half in the front and two in the back. So I'll shut up and start taking this thing apart. it off off the front piece this is going to be in everybody's car underneath this windshield header is going to be full of dirt and mud and every all kinds of shit so if you're ever concerned about rust or anything like that this is the only way you're going to get to it you got to take the car apart so next thing we're going to do is we're going to cut these door posts off get them out of the way so we can get them cleaned up this down in here is really clean from when we got it dipped. The, uh, the chop section will be, you know, right here uh, in the middle. Also, another thing I did before I um, took it apart was I put a Clico hole, a drill when it was all together, a Clico hole here, here, and here. So I'll get it back centered. Then I also measured the windshield opening and wrote it right here on the header. This one's 11, three, 11 and 3 eighths. Okay, they, they vary a little bit, an eighth to, eighth to whatever, 3 sixteenths. So whenever uh, we lower this down, get these posts out of the way where we can lower the roof down, uh, then we're gonna know exactly how much we chopped it. And that's gonna be beneficial on the windshield frame because say it turns out where it's exactly two and a half inches then we know we've got to take two and a half inches off the side of the windshield frame so instead of trying to figure out what it was you got this simple measurement to begin with so uh, also i put a door back on check it out see still opens and closes um, we got our gap our beads line up 
So now we're going to build the body to fit this instead of the other way around. I'm going to send this out and get this get this cleaned up. We're going to get it blasted on the inside, and we're going to get it cut. We're going to cut it off so we can get this blasted cleaned up, and we'll primer that thing before it ever goes back together. Perfect.